everyone, I'm Holly from Nutra Farms, and we are here today with Chef D. And Chef D is going to show us how to make braised beef short ribs. Holly, you are so right on that. This is truly one of those dishes that has come out of um, how beef has gotten more expensive over the years. And this cut here used to be like the $1.99. You would use this cut in making soups and stocks, but now we've taken it and you slowly braise this. This is truly one of those, lack of better chef words, beefy flavored, amazing dishes. So. I got my pan going, just warmed it up. We're gonna give it a quick sear. Now this is a one product that you don't wanna do on the barbecue. You want to have a braising liquid. You want to um, slow roast it over a longer period of time. We're also gonna use a dried herb to give it the aromatics that it's going to need. Because as you're cooking this longer and longer, you know, when you use fresh garlic and fresh onions, some of that flavor is gonna dissipate over time. We're gonna use a Montreal steak spice. And to be quite honest, it's the only time I ever use my jaw steak spice on any of my beef. On steaks, always salt and pepper. With this, it's got lots of great flavor and it's just gonna enhance the flavor of the short rib. So, just taking it, just seeing we're just kind of rendering the fat off just really quickly, giving it some brown. And while it's doing that, this is when I'm gonna season it. Now, I'm gonna probably use about two tablespoons true recipe. I'm just going to put it all over. And when you put it into the hot pan like this, it, the oils from the, the dry spices are actually going to come out and give it even more flavor. So turn this down. We're going to take it off, put it into a Dutch oven. And just to get all that great little flavor, I'm just going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of our good friends from Waterloo Brewery, a little bit of their amber. Or if, they have, if you have their dark beer, it's absolutely fantastic to use. And then we're gonna take the rest of the can. So now, we're gonna take it into our oven. Our oven's at about three and a quarter. You don't wanna have convection on, because you don't really want it to dry out, or you don't want it to get too crispy and dry on the outside while it's taking longer to cook. So 325, regular oven. We're gonna pop this in. Again, this is gonna cook probably between three and five hours. The longer, the better. And the great thing is, let's say you have a busy day and you don't get back in time, you don't have to worry about it because the amount of fat that's in through the meat is gonna keep it really moist and then it's gonna fall off the bone. Fast forward five hours of being braising about 325 in amazing Warlu Amber. We have our beef short ribs, just look at your family is going to love this. Again, nice, delicate, and you can just see, look at that moisture still after that length of cooking. Oh, okay. I need to go in for a second. Beef short ribs, one of the favorites. It's gonna be your family favorite. 